Good morning. I decided to make this video real quick because I'm, well, I'm about to go up to the convenience store real quick, but I figured I would make this video just to talk a little bit about what I've kind of noticed with YouTube and just a lot of changes and stuff. And I just kind of wanted to give my thoughts on it and also kind of see if anybody else is in the same mindset as me whenever it comes to those thoughts. I watched a video last night from a YouTuber. They just randomly came up because now that I'm, you know, a, a little bit bigger of a YouTuber, now I get all sorts of different people who are about as high up as me or maybe a little bit more. And this woman, she was talking about how she had quit her job at DoorDash and became a full-time YouTuber and she doesn't have to work basically for the rest of her life because she has everything that she needs now from her YouTube paycheck, which is fantastic. I'm, I'm proud of her and I think that that is a great thing. And it had me thinking because she was talking about how she was doing it and what she usually does and how she makes her videos. And I really thought about that a lot lately because it's something that I've wanted to do for a while with videos. She just takes her phone and she just goes to a random spot in her house and she usually uh, just kind of records whatever is going on in her life and just kind of gives her thoughts on things and, you, you know, talks about how, how much she's making from YouTube, what she does to make money from YouTube and all sorts of different stuff, you know? And... I thought about it and I'm like, you know, that would be a very nice thing if I could do that because I've been on here for a very long time. And let's be real, I'm not really able to keep up with what's going on in the YouTube space anymore. Um, not necessarily that I don't want to and it's not that I'm not trying, it's just I'm much older and so a lot of the memes and a lot of the things that happen online, I don't know like much about it and I'm very lost and confused because I'm like okay skibbity toilet I know that I finally have figured that out but everything else uh, I don't understand Gen Z or Gen Alpha humor I apologize but at the same time I don't apologize because that's not what I grew up with that's not what I know Another thing that she said was that she doesn't do the Mr. Beastification on her channel, which I do appreciate as well because I think people overdo that way too much. And I think that that's something that, of course, the algorithm likes that. I'm not saying the algorithm doesn't like it, but it's very annoying because now whenever I try to make videos, I have to try to appease the algorithm and put like, you know, subtitles and all sorts of other stuff, which it makes sense in certain scenarios because sometimes you can't hear a word that I'm saying anyway. And so subtitles are good for those moments. But for other moments where they're like, oh, you got to put the subtitles in, you got to have like the really poppy text and stuff. That's just too much in my opinion. That's way, that's way overdone. And I, I can't stand that. And whenever I was listening to everything she was saying she's she was pretty well on point with it and that's something that I'm kind of interested in doing for my channel like I would not mind doing stuff like that like talking to you guys I was doing that for a little bit I was making videos where I just turn on the camera and I just talk and either I drive while I'm talking or I you know do something and I'm talking to you guys and just, we're, we're just hanging out. We're having a good time. Um, however, the only thing that I'm kind of iffy on is how often she posts. I have looked at her channel and I noticed that she posts probably like one to two videos a day and that's daily, which is good for your channel. I do agree with that. You do need to post daily because if you don't post daily, then your channel isn't going to get recommended enough and it'll basically die out. Unfortunately, I did that with my channel. I finally got my channel to the thousand subscriber mark, which is a very big milestone in my life that I was trying to get to, which is kind of sad in a way, but it's true. And uh, like, as soon as I hit it, I slowed down a lot because I felt like I didn't have the time. A lot of the time, I don't have the time to make the videos because I'm, I have a full-time job, I gotta work. 
But everything she was saying and everything that she was portraying was very inspiring to me. And it really did make me think about what I do with my YouTube channel and what I really want to do next with it. And I would like to at least pass the question along, I guess, to you guys. Because your opinion matters to me a lot more than what you guys think it does. I know all YouTubers are like, oh, I love my audience. Oh, my audience is, a, is fantastic. They're, they're wonderful people. And I would do any for, anything for them. I love you guys platonically or not and this and that. But in reality, I do really appreciate your guys' feedback on a lot of this. Because you guys give me a lot more insight than what I can actually, you know, think of. So I would like to at least pass the question along to y'all. And I would like to know, do you like these types of videos? Do you like the videos where we just sit in the car and we talk? or where I just kind of find something that kind of piques my interest and I really want to get something out and talk about it. Do you guys like that? Because if so, I would like to at least try that on here. I really do like my editing style, but my analytics also show that there's a good portion of people between the ages of 18 to 30 who watch me. But there's also a good portion of people between the ages of 30 to 50 that watch me. And not all of y'all are going to want that same kind of editing style. That editing style is for like, oh, you know, to grab kids' attention and stuff. And I just liked it because, you know, it's like, hey, I finally figured out Premiere Pro. But it's something that I have thought about changing. And so if you guys would like that change, I would like to do that as well. So I would like to pass the question along to y'all. If you guys would like to see different types of videos like that where I just kind of record and just talk about whatever comes to my mind, I would love to do that. So if you guys would like to see that, please let me know down in the comments. I do like doing these types of videos where I just sit here and just BS and talk about something. And you know, there is some insight. I mean, I know I'm 29 years old, but there's a lot of stuff that I've gone through or done in my lifetime that, you know, I think it would be beneficial for people to know. I would like people to kind of avoid doing the stupid things that I did in my life. So if you guys would be interested in hearing about some of that stuff, then, you know, I'll, I'll share it. I'll, I'll let you guys know. But anyway, sorry for the rant. If you guys didn't want this video, <laughs> sorry for the rant, but... I would like to say I do appreciate all of y'all and if you guys could give me some insight on if you would like these types of videos or not, I would be more than happy to do it. I'll even do like the best quality possible. I'll do 4K 60, I don't give a shit. Like I'll, I'll make the videos look really good. I just need to know if people are gonna be interested or not. So let me know down in the comments and uh, I'm gonna go to the convenience store real quick and then I'm gonna go back home because my stepdad is making some ribs right now and he is also going to be making some wings and i want ribs and wings so i'm gonna hurry and get this done so that way i can get back home and have them so thank you for watching sorry for also the shaky cam the roads are very shitty um anyway thank you Bye bye